But it was not during the filming that Melier worked his true magic. It was later, in the laboratory and the projection room, where I saw he was up to something incredible, something that had never been seen before. A complete, fantastic story told in one marvelous film. I don't know, boss. So many cuts, so much glue, I hope it holds. If it doesn't work, no soup for you. Well, that's all right. It's lousy soup. Ooh, how dare you? Is it ready? Here goes. There we are. <laughs> the intrepid voyagers. Dissolves, superimpositions, double exposures. Monsieur Melier was a genius. Boss, you are a genius. The cannon, ready to be fired, and boom! Turned midnight into dawn. Eugene Cernan, Ronald Evans, and Harrison Schmidt flying through the automated roll program of the spacecraft begin America's and perhaps all of mankind's final voyage to the moon. Three men inside the command module America with the lunar module Challenger in tow journey now to the moon. Most of the world and much of America use Apollo 17 as an undertaking either commonplace or wasteful. Regardless, to be here once again in the presence of such glorious force aimed at such a heavenly target as the moon, one can only marvel and ask, how have we done this? How have we sent mankind to the moon?